ugly out there today, but you know, looking back on December, it's been pretty calm. It was mild. We had a lot of rain, but nothing really too major. I mean, besides those gusty winds we had Christmas Eve, that's been the only really big weather story we've had this month. And it's looking like we're going to end it on a calm and cool note. Check out what's going on right now outside. Here's a look at our Stonecrest Golf Course camera up in Floyd County, and you can see it is just cloudy out there. <laughs> and we're seeing a little bit of sprinkle and flurry action along the Virginia border on Pinpoint Doppler. Uh, most of that very light in nature. You can see a little bit of uh, heavier rain, but not much. It's just a light shower uh, through portions of uh, Buchanan and Dickinson counties on down into Lee and Wise counties. Temperatures right now generally into the upper 30s. Overcast sky. It's just a gray, cool day. And uh, that's what we're going to see for most of the overnight. In fact, some of that rain may turn to a few flurries, especially in the higher elevations overnight as temperatures along the Virginia border along the ridge tops fall into the low 30s and eventually the mid to lower 20s. Most of us just bottom out in the mid to upper 20s. That's because cold front moving through the region right now, clearing behind it. We should see some of that clearing arrive in eastern Kentucky tomorrow afternoon. But in the meantime, Cloudy, few rain showers, few flurries, just kind of a dreary night. A little patchy fog sets up, especially in uh, locations that saw a little heavier rain this morning. And some of that may be a little freezing fog, so watch out. Could have a few slick spots on any untreated roadways tonight. Especially be careful on those bridges and overpasses. Into the upper 30s for highs tomorrow, so chilly once again with a mix of sun and clouds. You can see that cooler weather really starting to build off to the northwest. We haven't had too many really strong cold shots this month. They all came back in November, but it looks like a little bit of cooler air will head our way just in time for the new year. But in the meantime, we're staying nice and dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we go into 2015 on Thursday, starting off dry once again. Clear skies, cool temperatures, future view. Not a lot to talk about once we move the sprinkles and flurries out overnight. There you see those temperatures falling into the 20s, a little bit of snow down in southwest Virginia. We go into the 30s into the evening on Tuesday, 20s for Wednesday morning, and we'll see temperatures rebound into the mid 30s by Wednesday afternoon. So overall, the pattern just looks cool and pretty much calm all the way into 2015, taking us into the end of the week. A few showers late in the day on Friday, better chance of rain on Saturday, but we actually warm up and uh, maybe a few snowflakes to mix in with that rain early Friday morning, but uh, not expecting much. And Steve, still no real signs of any major winter weather on that seven day forecast. And uh, I'm hoping we can keep that going for a while, especially Me after too. last winter. Well, of course, and uh, a week from today, the Mountain Classic starts, believe it or not. And we're hoping for good weather for that. Yeah, so. We definitely want some uh, dry weather, especially after last year where we had the oh, snow gosh. cause some problems. Yes, thank you, Shane. Oh. Ahead on first and four, could using your smartphone actually make you smarter? We'll tell you about some new research.